How to install and update Skyrim Script Extender for both Legendary and Special Edition. Now, let's start off with, for the process for all of these, it's all the same. Every process is pretty much exactly the same. So, if you need to update your Legendary, it's going to be the same as doing new for Special Edition, vice versa, every single way. It's pretty much all the same. So, first step we need to do here is go to skse.silverlock.org now this will be linked in the description just so you know and once you're here um, make sure you have either WinRAR or 7-zip downloaded if you don't have either I recommend 7-zip click that and then follow the directions there once you make sure that you have 7-zip WinRAR or whatever else you might use we can go ahead and begin this so if you have legendary edition make sure you you go to current build um, just so you know none of these numbers here matter but yeah go to current build and then click on 7-zip archive now they do have installers but don't do it just don't worry about the installers just do 7-zip archive if you have a special edition go to current SE build once again number doesn't matter that doesn't matter either let me click on this so I start it this way after you save that this don't matter anymore now you can go to wherever you put it uh, you might put it on the desktop or wherever. Just go wherever you put it until you find this folder here, or this file here. Once you're on it, right click it, and then go to 7-zip and extract files. Don't worry about a, sing a single thing here. Click on that. And when it's done, you'll see the folder. Now, you won't need this for you won't need this for about a minute. So what you need to do now is there's two ways to do this, but go over to Steam, right click Skyrim Special Edition or Legendary, it doesn't matter which, all the same. Go to Properties, Local Files, and Browse Local Files. After that you don't need Steam anymore. And now you'll be in the Skyrim directory. Now, there is, it's called a lot of things, but now that you're in here, uh, you can ensure that you're on the right page in case you went to something different or took the long route. If, it's, if you see Skyrim SC.exe or Skyrim SC Launcher.exe, then you know that you're in the correct you're in the correct folder. Uh, the .exe doesn't matter because sometimes it'll be hidden, so if it doesn't say it. Don't worry about it. If you see these two here, you're on the right place. I just drag this over to the side here, and then go back to downloads folder wherever you had it. So I got that up. Go to the file created by extracting it. Highlight all the loose ones here. Don't don't do the folders, just the loose ones. And drag them over to the thing or to the directory. Now if you're updating it, you'll just hit the replace files. If it's new, you won't say replace. But just drag all of it in there and you'll be good. So after you got that done, uh, the next step is to install the data folder. Now all you need to do here is right click that and then add it to an archive. It really doesn't matter, I just recommend naming it something that you know what it is. So just hit OK, and whenever that's done, you'll see it here. Now once you have that, now once, once you have this, go over to your mod manager. It doesn't matter what mod manager, Nexus mod manager is recommended, but it doesn't matter what mod manager, and then just drag the archive into the mod manager. Once you got that done, just, just hit the little check mark up here or activate it, whatever you need to do. Make sure it's activated. After you got that done, you don't need that anymore. And you don't need any of these files anymore. All this, you can just delete it. And the other ones too. Delete it all. You don't need it. Now, as you will know, you can't use you can't use Steam to start it. You have to use the SKSE to start it. So what you need to do is go to the one that says skse that underscore loader dot exe. Go to this one here, right click it. Now this is what you need to use to start it, but if you want to make it easy for yourself, just go to just right click it, go to send to, send to desktop. And once you have that shortcut here, you won't you won't need this anymore. But if you got the shortcut, this is how you'll start Skyrim from now on. However, you can make this look a whole lot better. Just right click it, go to properties, and you can change the icon. Click that and 
you can kind of just browse around so normally it go straight to here but here's the address you need to go to just follow these and then pick which one you want since it's special edition I'm just going to go for this one select that and hit OK now click off that and you can rename it to whatever you want to I'd recommend just just naming it Skyrim Skyrim SE or whatever, Special Edition SE, it doesn't matter.